Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video with awesome bolos. <laughs> oh my goodness. And some of them he found in the trash. Like seriously, good bolos. All right, we are going to get started here. Um, if you're new to the channel, I talk about bolos, mostly items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. So this is a featured seller from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. He reached out to me and said, hey, I want to share. And I'm like, sweet. So here we go. The first item. All right. So he said that he got this in the free pile. Oh, let me make sure I have it on. Yes, I do. And okay. The free pile at a garage sale. And he took an offer of $700. And I believe it was free shipping. Yes. So it's an original 1990 Santa Cruz Jeff Kendall skateboard with Lester wheels. I think that might be important. But how fantastic is that? Free at a garage sale, guys. Free. I don't know, but I just did. Um, I dropped a premiere today on um, my channel, this channel. And it was everything that I got at a garage sale free. And I have some bolos. You guys should definitely go check that out. Um, by the time this video posts, it'll probably be like last month, but still a great video to watch. All right. So the next item is this early antique snipe shorebird decoy. It's folk art and yeah, check it out. This came from, let's see, he bought it for $2 and 99 cents, took an offer of $150 he bought nine or 10 of them ranging in price from $2.99 to $9.99. That is cool. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Uh, leg was broken and glued even. All right, the next item. This is good. Are you ready for this? Dug a bunch of weight stuff off of out of the garbage during college kid move out last year. It sat around. Notice prices were insane lately. So these were free. Buyer paid shipping. They shipped in a medium flat rate box at 50 pounds. So um, these sold for $129.95. And right now um, with the lockdown, and everything that's going on, you know, people are inside their homes, they can't go to the gym. So these things are a selling for more than maybe they would have in the past. So yeah, he got these free also. And another set just to show that it wasn't a fluke. This is a different brand and slightly less valuable, but these still went for $99.95 with the buyer pain shipping. And these are not as fancy, but, you know, they're still 25 pound uh, barbell weights. So pretty cool, especially when they're free, right? The next item is this lock. It's a vintage old, old Tokheim gas pump oil. It's a padlock, basically. And I have a whole video on um, locks and keys to be on the lookout for that you can buy low and sell high. Definitely go check that out if you haven't seen that one because there is definitely money to be made with locks and keys. So this, he said, he got this for free. Uh, was walking through a friend's grandma's estate before it was sold, looking for anything they missed. I was given a box of locks and a box of keys that um, I said were cool and probably valuable for for my time. Ended up making like a thousand total between all the locks and keys. Some locks and just keys sold for 50 to 100 each. Um, he took a best offer on this lock for $75. All right, here is an antique J.H. Williams. It's a bend open end wrench. And that is an interesting looking wrench if I've ever seen one. And it's a little rusty. He said that I went back on the last day. They were signing contract and a bunch of stuff was being thrown out. This wrench was was in there. I took it. It is a company which is now Snap-on. So that's good to know. J.H. Williams, he said, is now Snap-on. Huh. And he sold this for $89. So he got this free also. Talk about getting lots of good stuff free. All right. Let's see what the next item is. 
All right, this vintage silver, or I'm sorry, vintage king silver flare trumpet and king case, early 1970s. Uh, paid 25 and took an offer for $280. So yeah, old instruments can definitely be a bolo if you can find the right ones. So definitely be on the lookout and look them up. They usually have writing on them, which you can punch in to the sold section and figure out if they have any value. All right, so I did another featured seller video and they sold one of these for big money also. Um, I cannot, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's an antique Daguerreo type, Daguerreo type, I don't know, I'm saying it wrong. But um, this is a vintage gentleman Victorian cross photo case, uh, one sixth plate. And this is what it looks like. And let's see, paid a dollar each for three of these. Two are still listed. This one took a best offer of $150. So very, very cool. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The next item is another one of those decoys, unknown maker. This one is a shorebird and it says vintage reaching Corel, 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 Curlew? I don't know what that is. Curlew Shorebird? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Let me see. Uh, paid $2.99 and sold it for $70 plus shipping. All right. So this watch, um, it's a 14 karat gold Boliva Accutron watch movement, original box and parts. So what he said is he bought this watch for 25. It was solid 14 karat gold. I kept getting offers for the whole watch for less than it was worth as gold melt on eBay. So I scrapped the gold parts for $440 and sold the rest of the parts in this listing. And that sold for $39.95, which kind of makes me sad because my husband likes watches and I hate seeing things scrapped, but I get it. You know, he's got to, he's got to make his money. It's got a nice band on it says Genuine Lizard, Accutron. So yeah, you can definitely sell watch parts. Um, I, I probably would have kept it all as one watch and waited for the right buyer just because I bet it was beautiful, but to each their own, right? Um, I mean, I've done that with dollhouses where like it's missing a piece or two and I will scrap it out because I don't wanna see the parts, you know, get thrown away because it's missing a few pieces. So there's people that need certain pieces. So hopefully somebody will buy this and make a beautiful watch out of it. The next item is this Playboy brand reversible vest. Um, that was another garage sale find and took an offer for $69 plus shipping. All right, here's some more of the locks that were free. Sold these for 60, best offer of 60. So he probably started the auction at $69.95, but had the best offer feature on and somebody offered him 60 and he took it. That's why it shows one, one bid and the um, that's why this is wrong. So yeah, that's those locks are awesome. They are definitely a bolo for sure. All right, this Mac angle wrench. Um, open in forged chrome. Uh, this went to a church sale and the guy had a toolbox. It was about 25 cents. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It says 25 cents for the socket, 50 cents for the wrench. Oh, paid 50 cents for this. Okay. And it looks like it sold for full asking price of $79 and 95 cents. So vintage tools. Well, I don't even know if this is vintage tools, vintage tools, just tools, uh, can be a bolo for sure. If you know what to look for. All right. This butterfly taxidermy. Very cool. Uh, let's see $2 and 99 cents at the Goodwill. And he sold it for $49 and 95 cents. Super cool. There's some really pretty butterflies in there. Wow. Wow. Is there more? Okay. Is there two? Or is that the underside? I'm confused. Can you guys tell? Is that like the backs of them? Maybe that's the back. 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, these Oakleys. Uh, Oakley eye jacket came from a garage sale for one dollar. Seriously, this guy is a lucky guy. He finds awesome stuff for free in a garage sales for a dollar. Awesome. I love it. Super exciting when you find good deals. And it looks like these sold for $129.95. That was a great $1 investment. This one's kind of funny. Um, well, kind of. I wouldn't have been wanted to clean it. But it says, John Bliss and Company Antique Brass Nautical. I don't know what it is, though. Truff, truff, or taff rail log taff rail log i think that's what it says so i don't know i don't know is it some sort of fishing thing <laughs> you guys tell me in the comments um and i'm gonna pause and say hit that thumbs up all right back to the video uh so it says this uh was being thrown away it had a cock it had cockroach poop all over the rope and inside the box. Ew, I would have passed. Um, I cleaned it all up with a microfiber and water and the buyer bought that and had it shipped overseas. I took an offer of $340 for it. The person had a uh, maritime, is that what it says? Maritime? What is that? Museum. Or that's what the eBay store showed and their handle was. So $340. Maybe I would have cleaned up cockroach poop for $340. I don't know. Tell me below. Would you guys have cleaned up cockroach poop for $340? All right. The next item is another lock that came from that same lock thing. And super cool. Like I feel like he could have gotten more for this. But um, he said the key was free, part of the locks and boxes. I believe I took an offer, or no, wait, I'm sorry. He took an offer of 50 on it. And it says a $100 reward for keys of return. So I think if he would have held out, he could have got more for this just because it says that and it's super, super cool. And it's one of those things probably where he's like, I got it free. Somebody's offering me $50. I'm just going to take it. So 50 bucks on that one. Now, stainless steel um, eight piece place setting, Onida, I think is how you say it. So, yeah, you can still fetch decent money if you can find a nice set of sterling silver, not sterling, of course, sterling, stainless steel. Um, actually, it's stainless satin. But he paid, does not say. He took an offer for 90 and paid $7.99, but it doesn't say where he got it. So very cool, Bolo. This cat mug, Leah Rena Gorin, Gorin, that's what it looks like. A uh, cat face study coffee mug. And he got this at, it does not say, but he paid $1.99 for it and sold it for $29.95 plus shipping. And I have like four videos on mugs. I have just a Bolo mug video that I did a long time ago that's still really good. And I did mugs that are like $500 and more. And I did a video on bread and butter mugs, which are like your cheaper, easier to find mugs, but that you can still make a profit on. And then I have $100 mug video. So go check those out if you want to learn more about mugs. All right. This one, I don't know if it's really a bolo, but I thought it was really cool. So this is a seashell mix of small shells. And it's for like crafters. It's 3.8 pounds. And he says they were $2.99, although I live in Florida and I could have found all of those. But those sat around for a long time before they saw, sold. Not sure if a, it's a bolo unless you collect them yourself. So he picked these up at a, um, looks like a sale, some sort of sale for $2.99 and sold them for $24.95. I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, just like a different item that I saw in his sold. So I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, I'm going to take you over to his store. And it is MGMM Goods. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff he's got. I will post a link down in the description of the video if you guys would like to go in and check out all of his items. Ah, look at that elf hat. That's so fun. 
You can check them out. If you see something you want, you can buy it. And you guys, if you want to be featured on the channel like this, feel free to join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group down below and shoot me a message on um, Facebook. I am happy to feature you if you've got bolos. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. And we'll do one more page. And then you guys will have to come back and check out what else he has. So what do you guys think about all of those free items that he got and sold for huge money? I'll tell you what, I'm doing really good with Leapfrog right now on Mercari, big time. Made a lot of money on that stuff. Oh my gosh, I have something similar to this listed. <laughs> oh, it's so fun looking through people's stores. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that thumbs up. Um, down in the description, I've got my eBay store, my Poshmark closet, my Mercari store. If you guys um, want to take a look, you can. Give me feedback if you want to buy something cool. If not, no worries. Um, I have probably 4,000 items listed, so lots and lots of good stuff. I have tons of old clothes. Not old clothes, but new clothes that I've had for a long time. I'm trying to get out of clothes. There are some new clothes that I'm listing, just inventory that needs listed, but I am so over clothes. I listed jewelry today, so there's some new jewelry in my store. What else have I been working on? I've been working on some toys. So there's some new toys in my store. Hmm. I listed some of the stuff from my garage sale free haul. So you guys go check it out. See what I've got listed. And go check out another Bolo video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And if you don't know, my live show is every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I invite everybody to come watch. And if you have a bolo that you would like to share in the chat, I pull those up on a banner and share those. So it's a great way to get um, advertising for like your eBay store or if you have a YouTube channel. So come check it out. And if you made it past all the rambling, comment below. I made it past all the rambling. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.